Hello guys, uh, this one is going to be again regarding multiplayer and in this one I'm going to show you some pretty cool features which I have done recently. So first of all, uh, when you press multiplayer here, uh, we just put some name like Ivan1, Ivan3 and then we're going to join the room, and for example Q. Uh, so when we press join the room, it's going to randomly pick up one of the three scenes which I've got. They are very basic, but just so you can see, that's every every time when you're um, joining the room, it's going to be a random scene, which is going to make gameplay more interesting. So I'm just going to press join room, and we see that uh, our characters. Our characters are in the same room. There's not many stuff actually in the room. Also, I put some uh, boxes and lockers here. And if you go and check one of the boxes, uh, it's gonna randomly also, in every box, there's gonna be object which is gonna be randomly generated from the list. So every time when you play uh, different, uh, when you, every time when you play the, the level, uh, the boxes are going to contain different stuff. So that's what actually is going to make gameplay a little bit different. So, uh, for example, this one has, uh, this time it has um, first aid kit, and this one has uh, some a fire raid thing, and some gun uh, fix, uh, some gun fixer. So also, when we go to another room, there's probably nothing there. So let's go, um, let's go here. Let's go with other character too. I'm gonna use shield. So when we go here, we can see some enemies are attacking us, and these enemies are also randomly generated. So um, from the list. So every time when you play the level, uh, enemies going to be spawned um, randomly. So like the amount of the enemy is going to be random. The um, also, it's going to be different enemy every time. At the moment, I just have one enemy. That's why it spawns the same enemy. And um, but after I, I will uh, like very soon, I'm gonna add uh, new enemies, uh, different enemies. So it's gonna be every time different enemy. And also sometimes some of the rooms are, are might be empty, or some of the rooms uh, every time when you play they might be or empty, and sometimes they can be full of enemies. Sometimes they, maybe just a few or so it's gonna, every time it's going to be different so every time uh, we have this random generation of levels every time we have a random generation of the objects in the scene and every time we're going to have uh, different enemies uh, different amount of enemies and different enemies in the room so for example if i just start again if i just close these scenes and if i just start again i'm just gonna use this too okay so room t some random some random name general t okay so that's what probably going to be the same room okay let's try again let's close it again and let's try to play something else so F and F. Damn it, all the time loading in the same room. <laughs> one more time, one more try. Let's load just one so we can check whether it's. Finally! <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Was F? Was it F? <laughs> okay, let's try. So, we go here and then. Oh no, yeah, er, perfect. So you can see right now it's a different level. It's a different level here. And uh, we've got different boxes here and these boxes, they contain some other stuff. Some of the boxes might be empty too. So randomly generated objects sometimes can be like in the box or locker, there actually can be nothing, you know. So we're gonna open this, um, door and we can see enemies are attacking us again 
and you can see let's go with the other character too yeah so these enemies are generated randomly okay let's go back before we get killed we get killed <laughs> This slide that you're seeing about the character are just temporary one. It's just, I did it in uh, the purpose of testing because I have to sync all of the enemies and all the health bars. So they're just for now you can see them, but you won't see them in the actual game in the end. So yeah. So you can go here. You can see some enemies here too, and yeah, we died. So. Let's try again one more time so you can see that's actually pretty cool and pretty randomly generated. Let's see, let's try random something else. Um, okay, this is I guess the previous level that we had, yeah. Skip tips. We need it now. It was D, no? Yeah, was T, which is good. So as you can see now, previously there were like uh, some other objects. Now we have uh, this kit here, med kit here, and uh, a med kit and some other stuff. Let's try one more time. Why? Okay, and if you can see here, okay, this is the other level. Anyway, uh, yeah, power pack, med kit, and some other stuff. This one, why? Yeah, why? So, and it's, uh, because we uh, we joined the room a bit late. That's why the object here was instantiated too. Like uh, in this one, we already picked up this object, but in this one, it's still there because we just joined a little bit um, later than the actual player. It's going to be solved. Uh, you won't be able to join, I guess, uh, until both of the players are in the game. So when somebody has to, uh, somebody will have to press play button in order to actually start the game. So then it's going to be the um, joining of the room are going to be synchronized and you won't get these issues. So for now that's it and um, yeah, I'm going to continue working the multiplayer and you can watch the progress just subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell. So thank you very much guys. Bye.